Hi everyone, welcome to my game of the month for August 2023. This is Yokoyama vs Muranaka from the C2 class ranking tournament. Playing Sente is Yokoyama Tomoki, ranked 4 dan. Playing Gote is Muranaka Shuji, ranked 7 dan. This game features an opening that was popular among shogi professionals about 20 years ago, but rarely appears in the latest professional games. Yokoyama begins with pawn to 7 6, pawn to 8 4, rook to 6 8. He goes for fourth file rook right away. With this move order, Yokoyama retains the option to exchange bishops after Muranaka plays pawn to 3 4, but in this game he proceeds with pawn to 6 6, which transposes into regular fourth file rook. Silver to 6 2, silver to 3 8. Yokoyama makes the Mino castle shape. It's a common ranging rook castle even among professionals. King to 4 2, pawn to 1 6, pawn to 1 4, king to 4 8, king to 3 2, silver to 7 8, pawn to 5 4, gold to 5 8, gold to 5 2. Muranaka makes the boat castle a flexible formation for static rook. Bishop to 7 7, pawn to 8 5, pawn to 4 6, silver to 5 3, king to 3 9. In this position, Muranaka can go for a rapid attack strategy with pawn to 7 4, but in this game he plays bishop to 3 3 which signals an intention to go for a slow game and for Anaguma. Yokoyama responds with pawn to 3-6, king to 2-2, knight to 3-7. As he continues to assemble his formation, Yokoyama's opening strategy becomes clear. To counter Muranaka's static rook Anaguma, he goes for a famous ranging rook strategy called the Fuji system. The primary objective of Fuji system against Anaguma is to initiate a rapid attack before the Anaguma is fully enclosed. With this move, Yokoyama makes a threat of knight to 4-5, forking, bishop, and silver. So Muranaka defends with pawn to 4-4. And Yokoyama proceeds with pawn to 6-5, a big move that activates both the bishop and the rook. As an example, after lands to 1-2, Yokoyama could play pawn to 4-5, making a severe attack. So in the game, Muranaka first strengthens his defense with gold to 4 3. And after silver to 6 7, he decides to go for the Anaguma, lands to 1 2. And in this position, Yokoyama commits to his attack. Knight to 2 5, bishop to 4 2, pawn to 4 5. On one hand, Yokoyama only has three attacking pieces at the moment. However, his pressure against Muranaka's king cannot be underestimated. Muranaka doesn't have the time to complete his Anaguma because after king to 1 1, pawn takes 4 4, silver takes, pawn draw 4 5. His silver will be trapped thanks to the pin. The bottom line is that Muranaka's king has to get off this diagonal, so he plays king to 3 2. Although this is a good point for Yokoyama, the position remains unclear. If he can't find a good continuation, Muranaka can take out the knight on 2 5 with pawn 2 4, killing off Yokoyama's attack. So the game proceeds with pawn takes 4 4, silver takes. One tempting move in this position would be pawn drop 4-5, and this is what happened in the only other professional game to reach the previous position, Kubo against Habu in the 2001 NHK Finals. In that game, after silver takes, Kubo promoted his bishop to 1-1, but after silver takes 3-6, pawn to 2-6, pawn to 2-4, Habu got the knight and would eventually win the game. But that was back in 2001. More than 20 years later, Yokoyama shows a new move, improving on Kubo's plan. He plays silver to 5-6, a truly beautiful move. It might not seem remarkable at all, but if you take nothing else away from this game, my one request would be to please remember this one move. So one idea is that if Muranaka proceeds with pawn to 4, then after pawn drop 4-5, silver to 5-3, Bishop to 1 1 promotes, pawn takes 2 5, horse takes 1 2. The difference is that Yokoyama would gain a powerful foothold on 4 5, making it easy to use his lands in attack. So Muranaka prevents his plan with silver to 2 2. But with all the activity occurring around this corner of the board, a sleeping giant is about to awaken from the other side. After all, Fuji's system is a strategy designed for fourth file rook. So pawn to 6 4. By activating his rook, Yokoyama's attack gains a second wind. If Muranaka plays bishop takes, then Yokoyama could clear off the pieces 
with rook takes, pawn takes, bishop drops 7 1, rook to 4 2, bishop takes 4 promotes, gold takes, silver drop 5 3. And because of the difference in king safety, Muranaka's position would be difficult. In the game, after Muranaka plays pawn takes, Yokoyama makes a joining pawn to 6 5. Pawn takes, rook takes, pawn drop 6 4. And the ultimate form of Sabaki is sacrifice. Silver to 4 5. Now Yokoyama's attack becomes connected, it won't run out. Even after silver takes, rook takes, pawn drop 4 4, he could proceed with rook takes, gold takes, bishop takes, so it would be a total loss for Muranaka. So it's one way to go. Pawn takes 6 5, silver takes 4 4, gold takes, bishop takes. Muranaka hangs on with bishop to 6 4, defending the threat of silver drop 4 3 while activating his bishop. But after bishop to 7 1 promotes, although Yokoyama's king seems to be in danger, it's not easy to find a good move. For example, silver drop 3 7 is not a threat mate, so Yokoyama might simply take the rook. If the rook escapes to 8 4, then after silver drop 7 5, bishop takes 1 9 promotes, silver takes 8 4, silver drop 3 7, Yokoyama could decide the game with silver takes, horse takes, silver drop 4 3. And this would lead to checkmate. For example, king takes, pawn drop 4 4, king to 3 2, gold drop 4 3, king to 3 1, horse to 5 3, pawn drop 4 2, rook drop 3 2, gold takes, gold takes, king takes, gold drop 4 3, pawn takes, pawn takes promotes, king to 4 1, horse to 4 2, and checkmate. In the game, Muranaka plays rook to 4 2, which actually makes a threat mate of silver drop 2 8, but Yokoyama finds a good countermeasure in pawn drop 4 4, blocking Muranaka's rook and making the threat of silver drop 4 3. Muranaka could defend it with silver drop 5 2, but the silver is too valuable, so he plays gold to 5 2. Yokoyama continues attacking with gold drop 4 5, and once again, after bishop takes 1 9 promotes, gold takes 5 4, silver drop 3 7, silver takes, horse takes, Yokoyama could barely give mate with silver drop 4 3. King to 4 1, silver drop 3 2, rook takes, silver takes promotes, king takes, pawn to 4 3 promotes, gold takes, gold takes, king takes, rook drop 4 4, king to 5 2, gold drop 5 3, king to 5 1, rook to 4 2 promotes, and checkmate. But Muranaka once again shows his tenacity. He plays rook drop 4 1. And after horse to 7 2, rook takes 4 4, gold takes, rook takes, he hands one of his rooks over to Yokoyama, but eliminates the dangerous foothold on 4 4 while renewing his threat mate of silver drop 2 8. And if Yokoyama responds with silver drop 4 5, this would be a blunder because after silver drop 2 8, king to 4 8, rook takes 4 5, Muranaka would get the silver for free. But instead, Yokoyama defends with silver drop 2 8. And the story of this position is the difference in king safety. With four generals in his castle, Yokoyama's king is safe against Muranaka's attack. In contrast, Muranaka's position is in total disarray. For example, after pawn to 2 4, horse takes 8 1, pawn takes 2 5, knight draw 5 6, Yokoyama's attack would gain speed by targeting the floating pieces in Muranaka's camp. Nevertheless, Muranaka does his best to make something happen. He plays pawn to 3 5. And after rook drop 6 1, bishop takes 2 8 promotes, king takes, pawn takes 3 6, he targets the head of Yokoyama's castle, threatening silver drop 3 7, and rook takes 4 9 promotes. So Yokoyama defends with gold to 4 7, making a high mino shape. It seems that he's even allowing Muranaka to play rook takes 4 7 promotes, but Yokoyama has read that after horse takes 5 4, if Muranaka blocks a check with any piece drop, then Yokoyama can give mate with bishop drop 4 1. Meanwhile, after gold to 4 3, bishop drop 4 1, king to 4 2, rook to 6 2 promotes, king takes 4 1, horse to 6 3, king to 3 1, dragon to 5 1, king to 3 2, dragon to 4 1, and checkmate. And if Muranaka attacks with pawn drop 4 6, then after gold takes 3 6, pawn to 4 7 promotes, Pawn drop 4 5, the king takes 3 8, gold takes, Yokoyama would win the battle at the head of his king, which would mean the failure of Muranaka's attack. 
So in the game, Muranaka strengthens his attack with gold drop 3-5. But after horse takes a1, gold takes 2-5, Yokoyama gives the final blow. Bishop drop 4-1. After rook takes, horse takes 5-4. If king to 4-2, then knight drop 3-4. And if king to 3-1, then horse takes 2-1. But if Muranaka blocks a check with silver drop 4-3, then knight drop 4-4, king to 4-2. Knight takes 5-2 promotes, king takes, horse to 6-3, and it's game over. Muranaka decides to escape to 3-3, but it's very painful to give up the golden 5-2 for nothing. And after bishop takes 5-2 promotes, silver drop 4-3, horse takes, rook takes, Yokoyama even finds knight drop 4-6. And seeing this move, Muranaka resigns the game. The difference in king safety is too difficult to overcome. One example would be silver drop 4-5, horse takes 5-4, silver takes, gold drop 3-4, king to 3-2, rook to 6-2 promotes, pawn drop 4-2, knight takes 5-4. And from here, Yokoyama could catch Muranaka's king with consecutive threat mates. With a new twist on an old strategy, Yokoyama showed us the power of the Fuji system. It was a great victory by the young professional player. Thank you for watching and see you next time.